bit more. Yeah, just keep the connection a little bit better. Even on the longest rain, when you start, make sure you actually ride him to a contact. Yeah. A little bit more outside rain. He was just a fraction onto your right shoulder. That's good. So when you ride your transition to your corner, think of exactly that same feel. Good. Up, keep the contact on the way up again. Do it straight away. When something goes wrong, be quiet, you know, don't do it instant, but just repeat it quite quickly. So the trot on was not so good. Do it again. It's going to your right shoulder there. So do your transition with almost a little right bend. <laughs> now walk. Where you're going as well. Launching him into the fence is not going to help you. Ride a turn like you, you want to ride it. So? You Yeah, that's good, but the shoulders are still about a, a, two or three inches to the right. So, no, it's about this much. A bit more right rein against the neck. Think that the front is doing that. It's little, but it needs to be right. Yeah, and the turn through the corner is the same. You use a little bit too much left hand to do your, to do your turn. Too much left? Too much, when you get to the corner to turn, you do a little bit too much that. Make sure you just, both reins, both hands. You know, your shoulders slightly turning to the left with both hands. That's better. Maybe don't go quite so deep yeah. into your corner. Ride more like a quarter of a circle rather than... Oh, now this time he's having a poo. Cats go on poo. Okay, so if you want to do that, as an exercise, walk when you get to M. <coughs> so walk a little bit earlier and then ride a proper quarter circle through the corner. Unless he really tanks off and then you go straight into the wall, make him stop. Right. You, you then stop, wait and then turn him. Right, if okay. you feel he's pushing oh, yes. through the, the corner. The trouble is what I'm trying to do. You get in ahead, use your corners, use your corners. So I'm trying to but then I'm overusing them. Well, 
in this instance, you don't really, well, I mean, yes, you do use them, but you actually launch him into the wall mm -hmm. and then you do like a, 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 and that's a, a 90 degree turn. Mm -hmm. It's not what you want. So, you know, by all, if, if he runs off and he's being a pain, yes, put him into the wall, stop, wait, and then you turn. Mm -hmm. But if you want to ride through the corners, just when you get to M, when you get to whichever marker, yeah. a few meters before, walk, make him wait, and then walk through your corner. Thinking of a half, a quarter of a 10 meter circle. In a minute, I'm going to get a stick. You here? That's it. Okay, but now you have to do the same and keep the connection, yeah? That was, that in a way is more correct. Right the connection, right forward through the... That's it. And you know, I wouldn't do it all the time because otherwise he's going to do like with the poos. If he's going to see a corner, he's going to stop. <laughs> so, you know, do it a couple of times when you, when you feel you're losing control, but otherwise just, you know, ride him through it. But have... Or by all account, have that thought in your mind that you're going to set up your corner like this, but you keep trotting effectively. Yeah, that's good. Much better. Just make sure your upper body is not tipping forward. I know you want him a little bit down and stretching at the moment, but make sure that your position is in the, say, in the right balance. That's better. Good. So head up a little more, sit up. At the moment you're not sat on your bum. Go deeper in the saddle. That's it, lean back almost. There. Okay, now you're sitting. And I don't know if you can, obviously with those reins, if you can have your hands a bit more forward. So shorten your reins if you can, and carry your hands a bit more forward. So at the moment they're stuck by the withers. So we want you to sit deep into the saddle and then ride him as if you carry a tray in front of you. There, like that. Yeah, sit into the saddle, you're bouncing. Make yourself really, lean back a little bit. There. And I have to say, with the hackmore, it's quite difficult to ride them up, in all fairness. Yeah, try again. Short, uh, reins a little shorter, and your hand's really in front of you. 
Think of Charlotte, how she rides. That's it, yes. Fraction more forward. Forward. Not much, but, uh, yeah. <laughs> it was like half a gear, because it was just a little too, too steady. Good. And sit. Sit. Look up, shoulders back. It's also because you look down, you, everything drags you down, yeah? But that stride is already at least half a point more than you had before. Okay, now you can control, collect him a little bit more. So, at the beginning, the, c the counter was too strangled. Right. You probably have a nice control and you think it's nice, yes. but you just need this much more. Don't go, oh, I must go. But just go, breathe, yeah. so that you just allow that slightly bigger stride. In the same tempo, yeah. but just soften your arms. Be on your seat and on your bum, and just go, yes, you know, and yeah. offer him to go a little bit. Yeah. This much. And then, you know, the quality of the stride is at least half a point, if not a point more. Yeah. So sure, if you want to do a counter hold, you'll need to get the counter you had to start with. Yes, but I won't be. But, you know, and so if you ride a 20 meter circle in front of the judge, you want that sort of counter that you had at the end. To go a bit more forward. And yes. And as I said, obviously, with hackball, it is difficult to, it's possible, but it's difficult to keep them up and out. I'm they do tend to go. Stopping, to be fair. Sorry? I'm just happy he's going and stopping. <laughs> Um, but, um, so yeah. Well, um, I had two, I had, um, the other, oh, I've got four. So, um, I had two of them at the um, beauty parlor. Um, and so Geraldine, who's the big one, was at home with Alice, and I, I either had to take both or take none. And I thought, uh, for this time, I'll take none. Okay, hands forward. Oh, actually, now I can switch the subject. Just needed to know that the dogs were ready to go. So. Okay, still, hand reins are a bit too long. Still too long? Yep. Because your hands come, go there, towards the weather. Right, because what I feel is when I get them short, that's, I can't actually move them. Is it because I'm trying to pull them Okay, so them? then let's just try, instead of doing that, yes. think more uh, there. I've not got very long arms. I'm no, I too. know, but, you know but, yeah, yeah, but your hand is doing that. Just yes. think that. Right. Put your hands towards the neck, not towards the withers. No, it's not, it's not just that. It's when you ride, your hands go here towards the saddle. And mine go here, like that. Yes. Yeah. And I need to do this. Yes. So even if the reins are longer, it doesn't matter. It's not the, rain, the length of rain. But it's just when, you, yeah, when you're cantering, automatically your hands come closer to here than to there. Well, to have the idea that they're going up, if they go down, again, you know, you do this and you, you jam them and you go with them. If you just do. That's it. That's better. Yes, thank you.
Okay, and then still ride the same, you know, ride the feel that you have with the hands, the hands at the other place and still ride your connection. <coughs> okay, those turns were a little bit square. Sit. You're going too far forward. Again, you're not on your bum. Just make yourself heavy into the saddle. You're a little bit too much on the fork. And I want to do what? Put more on the bottom? Yes. You're almost... Now you sit, when you're cantering, you're almost kind of... I wouldn't say you stand in the stirrups, but at the time it looks like you know, you're almost coming out of the saddle a bit. So just... here. Go. Because then you know you don't need your hands. You know you've got your position, and you did do it earlier. I did. Yes. So it's just think of leaning back. You've got a long way before you're actually behind the vertical. There. And the hands can be a tad forward. That's it. And so now you can use your seat to control him. That's good. How does that feel? <laughs> well, yes, because they're not jammed. The problem is when you put them by the withers, they can't go anywhere. There's no room for maneuver. See, if your hands are there, there's, there's nowhere to go. If they're here, you can go. But you need to, for that, you need to sit, which you can do. You just need to think about it for a little while. Yeah, when you ask for your transition, make sure your balance is correct. If you, it's the same as with Sue. If you try to say go, you actually unbalance them more and they won't be able to go. Keep your position and ask for it so that they can jump in front of you. Good. Sit, shoulders back, upper body back. There. Yeah, that's good. And your hand a fraction forward, just an inch or so. Good. And then just a, a little better half hold before the corner and coming out the corner. He's ever so slightly gaining speed through the corners, yeah? Right, yeah. So on the straight line, he's fine through the corner. Whoops, it goes a bit fast. So as you get to it, just wait. And as you're halfway through coming out, wait. Right, okay. Then you can soften again. Okay. But that position is much better. Good. Is it going to get me a 10? <laughs> Ask the judge. I'm not the judge. 